He's a champion forever. Kevin Jansen, what you've done. Thank you. Justin Tucker. Oh, I cannot help but feel better about this. Rick Honeycutt. Rick Honeycutt is not here. This should Thank be the you. brain right now. Ross Stripling, who's not here. Thank you. And to every single one of you guys, I love you so much for all your work, your care, your unselfishness. Congratulations, you guys. Blue, a three, one, two. And then the Dodgers win the series. And now the Dodgers have won the World Los Series. Los Angeles Dodgers. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Vin Scully, how about that? It's only right for the great Vin Scully to tweet. What a year, what a season, what a team. Congratulations to the Dodgers since 1988, and it finally happened in 2020. We've got the MVP presentation. Back to Arlington we go. After this, the Dodgers world champions. Go down to win. Can't help but feel better. That should be that should have been the Braves celebrating. trophy. I'm just feeling a little bitter right now because over the years I've seen I've so many times over the years I've seen when, when one of my favorite teams makes the makes the playoffs so many times I've seen the team that's beaten my favorite team in the playoffs go on to win to win the to win the whole thing. Uh. Alright. Here's an example. 2010. The Falcons finished 13-3. and And on the number one seed. Well. In the divisional round. The Falcons played the Packers. And the Falcons get absolutely embarrassed at home by the Packers. And then the Packers go on to beat the Steelers to win the Super Bowl. Uh, what's, what's next? Oh, also in 2010, the Braves won the wild card. The Braves... Uh, win the wild card to to make the playoffs in 2010. They played the San Francisco Giants in the uh, National League Division Series. The Giants end up winning that series, and then the Giants go on to win the World Series. Oh! oh. Okay, uh, what next? What next? Um, what next? Oh, let's not forget about 2015, no, 2016, Falcons made playoffs, 
They finished 11 and 5, number two seed, one of the best offenses in NFL history, and we all know what happened in the Super Bowl, so I'm not going to go into detail of that. But I will say Atlanta sports teams and Georgia sports teams in general have a history of this. Okay, guys, I'm just going to leave it at that because, like I said, I'm feeling a little bitter right now. So, so I'm just going to go to bed and move on to the next day. So, anyway, guys, I hope you have a good night and God bless.